Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are here in the art gallery. 10 things people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake. So in 2012, I was going through a massive awakening and nobody got me. Like nobody knew what was happening in my life. And I meet a lot of people who write to me. And they tell me, hey, Ralph, what? I'm going through something right now. It's like I'm awakening to a whole new world. Wait a minute. Let's just breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I'm awakening to a whole new world. And it's like nothing is the same as it used to be. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? (laughs) So, you may be going through an awakening. You may be going through re-examining your life. You may be going through breaking through the Maya. In the Indus Valley, they call the Maya the illusion and finding your own truth. And therefore, people may not realize you're doing certain things because you are highly awake you are going through your awakening and for me it was 2012 do you remember do you remember 2012 you remember 2012 when it was like oh my gosh the world's gonna end actually i'm still here and it feels so good to be alive right but a lot of Things were happening on the planet. People were awakening at a rapid rate. I remember even going on YouTube and watching documentaries that aren't even there anymore. Like, where did they go? Nobody knows. The first thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake is enlightening other people. Like, helping other people to realize the truth. But what truth, Ralph? Ah, what truth? (laughs) When I had my awakening, which was actually the first one in 2006, but 2012 is really where it peaked. I was reminding myself that I didn't just come to planet Earth just to be a mechanical human being. I'm so much more. And therefore, I was turning to my neighbor here turning to my neighbor there and shaking them like, wake up, you're so much more than what you've read in a textbook. You're so much more, so much more than what you see on the TV. And they were like, stop shaking me right now. (laughs) What I found out was this, you may be highly awake and you're trying to inspire people. Maybe you have a website, trying to get people to think in a different way. I realized this, that the truth can't be told, it has to be realized. And when people really want information, they will seek it when they are ready. And that really helped me along my journey to realize that simple truth, that all you gotta do is literally just live your own truth and the right people will eventually find you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Cause sometimes what happens when you have this amazing revelation, You just want to tell the whole world and you're like, wake up world. And then you realize that some people just want to stay asleep. Just let them sleep, right? (laughs) And they'll blame you for waking them up at the wrong time. People wake up when they're ready. And that's what I learned along my journey. And that's a beautiful realization. What's the second thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake? Now, many times along my journey, what I found out was that, you see, we go through life, right? And many of us don't question it. (laughs) We just accept, 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 accept. Many people who are highly awake are starting to listen twice, starting to see everything twice. Like if you show them something, they're gonna look at it again, because they're like that. 
If they listen to something, they're gonna listen to it again because they're like that, right? So a lot of people don't get that. Like when you are opening your third eye, when you are going through your own awakening, many people even tell me that they're becoming more vigilant than ever. They're realizing there's always more to what meets the eye. And therefore they're questioning everything, even their own existence. And it's beautiful. A lot of people may not understand it, but for the ones that do, it's a fantastic feeling, right? Question everything because everything is up for questioning, including the cat down the road. And that's really how you grow. That's really how you become your greatest version. And that's what's helped me along my journey. Now, number three, seven day vegan challenge. What I've discovered is this, that many times you may be on the dinner table and then you just run upstairs. Have you ever done that before? Right? As you are going through your whole awakening process, not only are you eating better because you have more awareness about certain foods and foods that are very acidic that you don't want in your body and foods that are very alkaline, leafy greens, kale, arugula, right? Watercress, wheatgrass, all of these foods high in magnesium, you're becoming more aware of what they can do for you. At the same time, when it comes to dinner time, you may, <laughs> you may just want to run upstairs. Why is that? Because you see, when people are eating, there's all, always, pretty much always, a lot of silence, right? Ever been on the dinner table with people you don't like? Or maybe you do like them, it's just that there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> so what helped me along my journey was to realize this. I get it. When I was going through my own awakening, even being at the dinner table was kind of difficult because people like to talk a lot. And I'm just listening like, huh? What about what's happening in the world, right? And that might be you right now. You may have to sit down on the table with certain people and what what you're talking about, or what they're talking about isn't really what you're vibing with. So what I learned is that you gotta know that, express yourself when you're eating, whoever you're sitting with, your views are just as important as theirs. Because if they're talking, they're talking about really a lot of plugged in stuff in the matrix, right? And you're like, oh, I'm so out of the matrix right now, right? Then talk about it and give them something to think about, right? I hope they can finish their food right now. <laughs> okay, so learn that you don't have to run away from people or decline invitations of eating out because you're like, oh, it's going to be such a bore what they're going to be talking about. Just speak your own views. And I started to do that, right? I started to do that. And people were just like listening. In fact, they were like this. They never actually finished their food. I'm responsible for that. Okay. What's number four? Unplugging. People don't realize you're doing this because you're highly awake. Now, many highly awake people, many people who are highly awake are, they're always in the process of unplugging, finding a nature space, a creative space where they can go and breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Highly awake people have to do that because they're very sensitive to the energies around them. They can very easily absorb the frequencies, the vibrations all around them. So many people may not get why you need to unplug from the matrix, from the system, travel a bit, go into the woods alone. Many highly awake people, <clears throat> many highly awake people need alone time. Why do they need alone time? Because they need to reconnect with themselves. And that's, that's why, <laughs> that's why a lot of highly awake people go missing. You're like, where did you go? Nobody knows. In fact, they ran away, right? <laughs> they need alone time to recharge because many highly awake people 
really realize that humanity has really gone the other way than what we're supposed to go. We're supposed to be evolving and many of us are still quarreling with each other, right? So many highly awake people are always in the process of unplugging. It could even be a mobile phone, turning it off for a little bit, unplugging from their work, going on holiday and just taking two weeks to do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it works out pretty great. Then you come back to reality and you're like, oh no. Well, at least you got those two weeks, okay? <laughs> and I realized it was vital. You have to take time to recharge, reflect, and refocus. Slow motion this side. What's number five? The fifth thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake is this, that you may be considered antisocial. That's right. People, have you ever been labeled antisocial? Growing up, I was like, you're such a introvert. And I can pretty much talk to anyone. It's just that I chose sometimes to set up healthy energetic boundaries to choose the right energy I want in my life. And because of that, I was called antisocial because I didn't want to go to certain places. Like people would phone and I would kind of just let the phone ring. Is that you right now? It is, isn't it? Don't worry about it. Look, <laughs> you aren't antisocial, okay? I get it. I get you that you just are like, oh my gosh, everybody's crazy around me, Ralph. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> so a lot of people don't realize that you're not antisocial. You're just choosing the right energy to invite in your life. You don't want to be pressured in inviting insalubrious energy into your life, right? So what I found out was that that's the best thing you could ever do. Because a lot of people hang around people, but they're not really happy. And right now I'm connecting with millions of people and I'm super happy because we all get along pretty good. What's number six? <laughs> people don't realize you're doing this because you're highly awake, going against the grain. That's right, you're like a renegade. I'm a renegade, never been afraid to say what's on my mind at any given time of day. Thanks, Jay-Z and Eminem. Good song, by the way. Who won? I don't know. <laughs> so I realized, okay, I'm pretty much a renegade too. Because I've never been afraid to say what's on my mind at any given time or day. I speak about anything and everything without a filter, no editing, right? So people may not get that, that you may see someone right now, for instance, on Instagram and they're sharing these posts, which are really shocking. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they shared that. No one cares. They don't definitely care. That's why they shared it, right? That's a highly awake person. A lot of people don't get that, that highly awake people often go against the grain because they're all about the resistance, okay? The resistance, talking about the immune system, it's the protection from the organic body. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So it's a gift to go against the grain because it shows not only strength, power, but also courage and bravery. And in the end, these are the game changers. These are the trendsetters. These are the people who will go on to influence millions because they're doing something totally different. Deal with it. What is number seven? People don't realize you're doing this because you're highly awake. And that is rearranging <laughs> rearranging life priorities like first for me growing up it was like okay make lots of money buy a car work get married have children go on a few holidays retire oh wait a minute i'm no longer on planet earth <laughs> 
right now, what is it? What are my priorities, right? It's all about putting love first, family, relationship, making money, doing what I love every single day, having fun, and living forever, right? <laughs> See how it's changed for the better, right? People don't really get that highly awake people realize that we're so much more than what we've been, t we're so much, so much more than what we've been told, okay? And that's the gift. When you realize, <clears throat> when you realize you're so much more than what you've been told, you start to fly. Highly awake people realize that priorities will always be changing as their level of evolution changes, as their consciousness, which means awareness changes, right? And that's what I've seen along my journey and it's fantastic. Like after a while, making money becomes boring. In fact, I've made so much, I might start giving it away to you. Put your hands out right now, catch it, <laughs> right? It's about saying what matters the most. Ultimately, that's what it boils down to what matters the most. Highly awake people are always putting what matters the most as the top priorities. What's the eighth thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake? And that is reconsidering, uh-oh, <laughs> your career prospects. Your job choices are now up for questioning. Why did I choose that? Nobody knows. Why am I working here? What am I doing with my life? Oh my gosh, right? When you're highly awake, you're always realizing that, do I wanna be doing this for the rest of my life? And when I started to go through my own awakening, I'm like, I'm gonna choose something where it's gonna feel like a vacation. Like I'm just sharing and it's so easy, it's so fun, it's so free that it's never work. It's just, we're just, it's just a party in the park, right? At the same time, it's creating infinite abundance. Gotta be smart. Ralph, smart. <laughs> Stay smart, right? So many highly awake people are always realizing that they don't wanna just work a nine to five every single day. There's gotta be more. And there is, there is a whole lot more, right? And a lot of highly awake people find that. And a lot of people don't realize like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? They may not get even your own career path, your own work path. And you're like, just cause it, it just makes me happy. And they're like, uh, how could that possibly make you happy? And then you you just smile like, and they're like, oh, I get it now, right? You found something, obviously. <laughs> What's the ninth thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake? You always, this may be you out there right now. You always wanna be better, a better human being, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And you're always in the process of becoming your greatest version. Now, there are some pros and cons to that, but I found it along my journey. The more I started to become aware of my true power, that I was an infinite being, I was always about reading books that could really take me to the next level, right? Take my mind to the next level so I could really just evolve super fast. And it was really amazing. It's just that nobody got me when I would wake up at four o'clock and do some yoga on the beach. Like people were like, who is that guy? Nobody knows, right? I've been some places where I see people doing all kinds of strange things. Late at night, I'm like, what are they doing? Maybe they're, they just wanna be a better human being. Like they're working to become better mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So looking from the outside in, you may not get what certain people are doing. Certain people rub crystals on their forehead. Certain people go barefoot walking every single day. I met someone 
who did that walking barefoot i'm like she's like well this is actual this is the natural way to live okay walking barefoot and it actually strengthens the bones i'm like wow that's interesting i started to research it and found out it was pretty much true not only that it's called earthing and it is so needed for health i was like thank you master right i earth and it's a fantastic feeling get barefoot today baby so many people who are highly awake are always finding the next hack that can take their life to the next level and the 10th thing people don't realize you're doing because you're highly awake. And this is where sometimes when you're really wanting to become a better human being, it can sometimes backfire because then you're kind of too hard on yourself and sometimes too serious. So sometimes people may not get that highly awake people sometimes even place expectations and pressures on themselves, which are really unnecessary. So what helped me along my journey was taking the pressure off and say, actually, I'm not doing too bad, to be honest. I'm still alive, for one, but I'm just like, hey, I don't have to be hard on myself because I remember when I was so lost, at least I've improved. And it's just one step at a time. You're not here to be perfect. You're only here to be real and say, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Have a beautiful day. We are here in the art gallery. It's a beautiful time to be alive, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Just relax. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You.